Hello all, it's Terhi here. Today I'm playing with August Hip Kits and especially the color kit from August Hip Kits because I wanted to show you some tricks and tips how to use the Prima Marketing oil pastels. So I'm starting with white cardstock and I added a really, really thin layer of clear gesso on it and tried it because I wanted to make sure that the oil pastels don't make my paper blurry with because I will use this with water today. Uh, I'm adding a little bit of the pastel to my palette and then adding few drops of water to make it liquid. Um, they look like a really wet watercolor at this point and I really love them right now because you can use them as a watercolor and who wouldn't love watercolors right now, yeah? So what I'm doing is that I picked this Amy Tangerine uh, die cuts, is it the right word? Anyway, this lovely, lovely um, doily looking um, watercolor paper die cuts from the same color kit and I'm using my oil pastel water to color them up. You can mix the colors and as you see some of the colors are ending up to my background and it's not like I wouldn't love that. I actually wanted to that to happen because I want to have some kind of random patterns of the leftover colors to the background and that's why I already added the, the thin layer of clear gesso on the background. And now that my little die cuts are ready and they are drying, I'm using the, the uh, leftovers of the colors to just blushing them all over my background. The effect will be really light as I used re really a small amount of color, but I don't care about that. I really love it anyway. So now I'm showing another trick with this. Uh, I have this uh, chipboard, double chipboard actually, from the Great Paper Cute Girl collection. And I just colored with one oil pastel the whole world, world. <laughs> not the whole world and then I'm adding some water on top with a regular brush to get it spread and as I want to have different shades of the colors I'm adding different colors so you can really mix them up and do whatever you want with these colors because they they are cool in dry and in wet techniques but I prefer the wet techniques because I really love the um, spreading all over kind of look. So then I will let it dry and if I want to I can add another layer of something or do some kind of highlighting with uh, lighter, lighter colors or then adding something dark to the edges to make it look more dimensional. But as I did the layout, this clustering thing and everything other, I noticed that I didn't want to have that shipboard to this layout. So, well, I showed you the technique, but not how it will be looking on the <laughs> on the scrapbook layout because I didn't want to use it. But maybe I will do a card about it or something later this month. But it was nice to try them out on different materi materials like on water and well it was fun so this layout was really simple I just added some of the die cuts I had colored and then a lot of papers and here it is I really love the effect and I really love the picture of my cute little puppy who's now already eight months old and I think I will need another one well, thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week. Bye!